Hey, this is Zach from ZachMakesGames.com doing another OpenGL project for the portfolio. Uh, this was project six in the OpenGL class that I took. Um, and for this project, we had to do something with Bezier curves. We were learning about um, how, to, how to make Bezier curves, how to deal with them and their control points and things like that. So we had to do something interesting with Bezier curves. Um, I don't remember how I got the inspiration for this, but I wanted to take um, a D20, I'm a D&D &D player, um, and just kind of drag it out and make it all wonky. So this is what I ended up with. So I have this D&D &D D20 that gets twisted all around and then uh, pulled out with Bezier curves for the vertices. Uh, can't turn the axes off, sorry. This is pretty easy. Um, the Bezier curve format was simple, uh, and we were still doing GL begin and GL end. Um, we had moved on from doing display lists, or we were still using display lists. However, we this was easy enough to do on the fly, and since we needed to animate it, display list didn't really work. So we were still doing GL begin and GL end instead of uh, vertex buffers. But this is what I came up with, and I thought it was pretty nice. Um, I can freeze it and look around. So I thought this was kind of wacky and cool. Um, our requirements were we had to do something with Bezier curves, and it couldn't just be random curves. And they had to move in some way or another. The example he showed us was a flower that had petals made of Bezier curves, and he would drag the control points around to make the petals dance. Um, we saw an example with a smiley face and all kinds of stuff. I didn't really have a whole lot of creativity for this one, but this came to me and it turned out pretty well. Um, there it is. There it is. You can also keep the inner shape intact too, so you can see where the original uh, start and end points were. I thought there was... There it is, and then you can also see the control points now. Didn't document the controls on these very well, so sorry about that. It's a little hard to to see with so many control points. And then of course I can go into perspective and orthographic view. There it is. All right, so there's just the control points. You can see the control points moving, causing the curves to stretch out. And the like. This is a, a pretty interesting one. Um, the Bezier curves are really cool. It's really interesting to see how they work with the control points and of course how you can add control points to really twist them around. It's a really useful um, it's a really useful tool to have in the belt of a game programmer especially for things like splines and trying to make complex curves. Um, and it's really interesting to think about, too, because now that I know how these work, the curve tools in Photoshop and the other graphical editors make sense on why, why you can drag a point out and how it changes the angles of the curves. It's just a Bezier curve, and all you're doing is dragging a control point around. So that was really fun to learn and gave me more insight into how certain graphical tools work and how things like splines might work, um, and all kinds of fun stuff. So this was a, another good learning project. I learned a lot in this class, and uh, this was definitely another project I learned a lot on. So thanks for watching. My next video should be on my final project for this class, and that was by far my favorite project in this class because he let us loose. So watch for that and check that out. Thanks for watching.